Good morning, love train. How are you guys doing today? Well, I am walking to Publix like I do every day. And I just thought I would go and get some food and also I need some back teen for my ears because I made this ear really, really upset by trying to put this bad boy into it because I mean, my ears are a 5 8 and this plug is a 5 8 but it's a double flare. And this ear, for some reason, is way less more cooperative than this one. <laughs> so this ear is like angry and stuff because I tried to force a double flare into it when I've been wearing screw fit plugs this entire time. Double flares are a little bit harder to wear because your ear has to like stretch around the front part to get to the wearable, you know. Those of you who don't have stretched ears have no idea what I'm talking about. But basically it's trying to fit a peg into a hole that is just a little bit too small. So yeah, it was not happy with me when I tried to put this earring in. So I gotta go get some Bactine to make sure it's clean and doesn't get infected and stuff. My favorite car ever. I just love Fiat's. All right, I got my stuff. Oh my gosh, I decided that I would go ahead and try um, a Publix veggie sub because I would always eat like their egg salad sub, which was so good. But now that I'm vegan, I haven't been eating their subs for the longest time, but they have a veggie sub. So I decided to like go try that today. I got one, so we'll see how it tastes. I think I'm gonna put some vegan A's on it when I get back home. But anyway, there was this guy in line and after he was like on the phone the whole time to somebody and after he ordered his sandwich, he just like stood there still like on the phone. And I'm like, hello, move, <laughs> like get out of the way. What are you doing standing in line for something and talking on your phone? That's one of my biggest pet peeves is like people who are like in line trying to get something accomplished, but they're like on their phone. It makes me crazy. Get off your phone, tell the person, hey, hang on a second, I need to order my lunch. Put your phone down, order your lunch, and then get out of the way. <laughs> it's so annoying. And then, when I got up to order my sandwich, like, they are crazy particular at Publix. Like, they don't just make the sandwich for you like they do at Subway. They're like, what sauce do you want on the bread? And I'm like, mustard. And they're like, do you want it on both sides of the bread? And I'm like, oh Lord, just put the mustard on there. Why is that a big deal? And they're like, I'm gonna put your spinach and your lettuce on last, okay? And I'm just like, okay. <laughs> fine just just make it just make the thing it doesn't have to be that complicated and then I realized that the reason that it is that complicated is because people have probably gotten pissed off over them putting mustard on both sides of their bread before annoying and I don't know I got my sandwich anyway so I'm a happy person but it was just silly to me, like just noticing those things, you know? So I guess my PSA for the day is get off your phone when you're in line for something and don't be too picky about the way your sandwich is made. <laughs> Cause it trickles down, it really does. All right, here it is, my veggie sub. It's got all the veggies from Publix piled on it and we're gonna give it a try. Mm. That's good, especially with some vegan A's on it. Mm hmm. It's real good. All right, guys, it is work time for me. So here I go, off to make that money. What the hell was that sound? Hmm. So. Somebody just drove past me honking and then they yelled out their window, I love you, Amelia. Who the hell is Amelia? I'm, my name's not Amelia. I mean, I'm Amanda, but that's kind of as close as it gets. Oh well, huh. 
It's hot as hell and I'm here at work to make some bunnies. Good morning, love train. How are you doing? Oh my gosh. I just woke up not too long ago. I had the weirdest night ever. First of all, I had just fallen asleep and then I was awoken by a sound in the next room over and it sounded like a smoke detector going off, a really high pitch beep, 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 beep. So, but my smoke detector's right over here and it wasn't going off. So automatically I was like really, really worried, but then the sound stopped. And I was like, well, maybe it wasn't the smoke detector because you know, smoke detectors, they don't just stop on their own. You know, like you wake up, you see fire, and then you run out of the building. The smoke detector never gets turned off in that scenario, you know? So I was like, well, maybe the house is not on fire. Okay. But also the lady sleeping next door is like 85 years old. So you just never know what could be going on in there. So I decided to lay back down, but I put all my valuable possessions in the middle of the room, which does not consist of much. I mean, I am a poor person. I live very minimally, so I don't have hardly anything of value but you know I put my vlogging camera and my laptop and my keys together you know just so that in case it really was a fire I could grab all my things quickly and head out the door but turns out it's morning time and nothing has been lit on fire so far everything is all good but it took me back to like when I was a kid living in Kansas, we had tornadoes a lot. So every tornado season, I don't know, I would just get super paranoid and I would pack anything that was important to me into what I called my tornado bag, which was really just a Nike duffel bag. And that's where I would store like everything that was important to me during tornado season. That way, if there were a tornado, I could quickly grab my bag and head down to the basement with it. And like everything that I loved would still be intact, you know? And basically that bag consisted of my flute, my cheerleading pom-poms, all my CDs, my uh, Discman, and my headphones. <laughs> Maybe a couple of other things, but yeah, so this is not abnormal behavior for me. I've been doing this ever since I was a kid. And then I had a crazy dream that I took my dreadlocks out and in the dream I like picked through them all, you know, like with a comb and I like removed all of my dreadlocks and I was happy with it at first. But then like as the dream went on, I was like, oh my God, what have I done? It takes like, it took me and Sarah like five and a half hours to put these things in, you know? Um, like I just started thinking about that and I started thinking about like how long it had taken me to grow them out like this. You know, they've been growing for almost five years now. Um, so like, yeah, in the dream, I was just really distraught and I was like looking at my smooth, silky hair, like, what have I done? You know, so I was just really upset about it in the dream. And then I woke up and I was like, oh gosh, good. I still have my dreadlocks. And then I had a dream. I don't know if you guys watch Candy Johnson on YouTube. I do. I watch a lot of her. But I had a dream that she was in a movie with Mark Ruffalo and I was watching that movie with Mark Ruffalo so crazy so I had a crazy night last night but it's all over now and it's time to chill because it's you know Thursday it's my day off really excited about that and um, I'm gonna do some video editing and eat some food it's gonna be good dang Starbucks is busy whole parking lot just full I got out of the house and decided that I should come to Starbucks and get some social interaction because I've been acting like a real hermit today since it's my day off. So I'm going to do a little video editing and drink a little coffee. Well, 
I was at Starbucks and it was kind of a disappointment. I like had a really hard time connecting to their Wi-Fi for some reason. But I had a good coffee, I got lots of work done, and now I'm here at Goodwill because there's nothing really in particular that I had in mind, but I don't know, I just thought I might go in and see what they have in there today. And I've still got some money left from all that money that my relatives sent me in the mail, so just thought I would treat myself to a little Goodwill shopping. Alright guys, I'm home. I'm about to do a haul and show you guys everything that I got at Goodwill. I got some good stuff. I must have went on a good day because like it wasn't all picked through, but I just had a really like scary circumstance. I'm thinking maybe I need to not get on the Starbucks Wi-Fi so often because lately every time I do it seems like creepy things are happening to my devices. I was having trouble connecting to the Starbucks Wi-Fi and so I came home and tried to connect to my own Wi-Fi and my computer was doing all kinds of weird things. It wouldn't let me log into my Google account. It wouldn't let me log into my YouTube account. Kept saying I needed an updated version of Safari, but I couldn't find an updated version of Safari with all the links it was guiding me towards, you know? And then it kept popping up and saying that like, there's been like, a breakdown in security and I needed to call this number blah 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 so and it just like was not letting me connect to the internet even though I had like a full Wi-Fi signal and so I called the number and it was this guy and he was like you know tell me if it's your phone or your computer and I'm like well it's my computer and he's like well go to the search bar at the top and type in blah 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 and then he was getting like really angry and frustrated with me that like I wasn't doing the right thing I guess that he wanted me to do and I don't know it just occurred to me like this guy doesn't seem very professional you know and then I kind of realized that everything he was trying to have me do it was just like random stuff that wasn't even it doesn't it didn't even seem like it was relating to my problem so and every time it didn't work he had me like try something else you know and so I don't know he just didn't seem like a tech guy and I realized that the number that they had me dial like wasn't even a 1-800 uh, number it wasn't a 1-866 number it wasn't a 855 number I'm just thinking like Anything business oriented is going to be like a 1-800 number, right? So I ended up just hanging up on the guy and he tried to like call me back, which I also thought was shady, but then I ended up just like quitting Safari altogether, just, you know, cutting my tie with the connection or whatever. I turned my Wi-Fi off, turned it back on, connected to Safari again, and it finally like acted right. So, yeah, scary, shady. I don't think I gave him too much information. I didn't give him like my name. I didn't give him any passwords to anything. So hopefully, I mean, I only told him I was trying to connect to the internet with my computer. That was freaky. I think I got out of that just in time though to protect myself. So just be, on the lookout on the internet, you know, if they're telling you to call some number and it's not an 800 number, like be suspicious for sure. I think somebody was trying to get access to my computer. Scary. Let's get this thrift haul done. Oh my gosh. So it is taking me forever long to lace up these Chuck Taylors. <sighs> You guys don't care if I do a twilight thrift haul, do you? Because the sun's going down. <laughs> it's taking me forever. Whoever wore these before me must have either had really skinny feet and legs or liked their chucks laced really, really tight. Because damn. <laughs> Alright guys, let's do this thrift haul. So... I don't look as good as I wanted to look for this, but it's whatever. I've been running around all day and it's been crazy. 
that's all right. So I want to show you all the stuff that I got. First of all, I got a new ring. You see it? It's really fancy. It's spoon jewelry, which I usually never ever like, but I really liked this one and it was perfect for a thumb ring. I think it looks really, really good. I wish I could tell you guys who made it, but there is not a, a sign of anything on here. There's an engraving on the inside and I can't read what it says, but that could also very well be the maker of the silverware and not who made the jewelry. There's also a K engraved in like script right here and I don't know what that means. Is it a K or is it an I K? I don't know. It's really pretty though. So yeah, sorry I can't tell you who made this. The next thing I got was this hat and I really love it. It is a hat made by Ann Taylor and I'm usually not a huge fan of like Ann Taylor stuff but it's funny because I've been looking for a hat like this like all winter long and I've seen them in department stores and stuff like you know the brown hat it's like wool with the bow and the little bill that's what I've wanted and I I've seen them time and time again but they've always been like way too expensive so I've been just keeping my eye out at Goodwill I knew if I was just patient enough and I if I kept my eyes open enough I would be able to find a hat like this while I was thrifting and I did. The next thing I got, which I was very excited about, are these shoes from Charlotte Russe. I thought that these were really, really snazzy. There's nothing on here hinting at whether this is real leather or fake leather. I, it feels like it's fake, but I don't know for sure. Like I've said before, I really try not to wear real leather. And if I do wear real leather at all, I always make sure I buy it secondhand because I don't want to be giving money to the leather industry. And I do try my best to buy fake leather, but I just thought that these heels were so cute. And even though they're out of season, because this seems kind of like a winter shoe and we're just now getting into summer, but I figured, I better just get it because usually when winter time comes around I don't have a good pair of covered black shoes to wear you know so I thought I better just get them you know you never know when you'll end up wearing them the next thing I got are this pair of jeans they are Massimo jeans I bet that they're from Target you know and they are very very skinny leg at the bottom and I love them so much they've got the pockets on the back all the detail is silver which I really like on jeans and they're just like a really nice slim fit and I needed a new pair of jeans that I could just wear out whenever again not really in season I don't really foresee myself wearing jeans a lot this summer <laughs> but I figured it is Florida and rainy season is coming up so there's gonna be plenty of rainy days where I'm gonna to want to be in pants so I went ahead and got these jeans and I think that they look gorgeous and last but not least the coupe de gras of my thrift haul today you guys know how every time I go to Goodwill I'm always looking for chucks always 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 I've never had a pair of chucks before I always think they look so cool and so rock and roll and I always wanted a pair but I've never had a pair so I want to show you the pair that I found today ta-da look at these beautiful boots aren't those so crazy and they were only $15 and I can't even believe it it's so great and they fit kind of <laughs> they're a little bit small for me in the toe area but I figure you know if I just wear them on my leisure days when I'm not being super active or whatever I don't feel like I really want to go on a long walk in these anytime soon but man 
for these beautiful boots for $15, I was like, I will squeeze into those if it kills me. I was just surprised that I could fit into them because it says size six here on the bottom and I like, don't wear a size six. I'm a size nine in the foot. So I was really surprised that these fit at all. They've got the studs on them right there and I just think that they're so wonderful. And they zip up the back so that you don't have to undo these laces and straps every time. So that's good. I couldn't have run across a better pair of chucks. Like it's so exciting. Ah, I finally got the chucks. That just goes to show you that you don't have to buy anything brand new. You can get designer stuff at thrift stores. You just have to keep going regularly and keep your eyes open. It took me forever to lace these up. All right, cool, time to quit filming that now. Good afternoon, love train. How are you guys doing today? Well, it's another nice sunny day and I gotta work it for, but I've got some time before that to do whatever I want. I may or may not have made a bad decision. So I'm walking to Publix to get some lunch and I decided to wear the Converse's. I'm obsessed with these shoes, but they are a little bit too small. So we'll see if they make incredible blisters in my feet today. They probably will. It's gonna suck. <laughs> I don't know, I just wanted to wear them to the short walk to Publix and back to just see if I could just break them in, maybe stretch them out a little, do Converse's stretch, I don't even know. Somebody tell me. I can feel them rubbing already and I'm sad about it. <laughs> it's okay, I'm not giving up on these shoes though. Like, I'm gonna keep wearing them. I'm gonna make them fit my feet. I will do it. I will stop at nothing. I don't care, I love these shoes. I styled them up with an outfit and makeup. You know, I might look like a total goth walking into Publix, that's all right. I like goths, I think they're beautiful. I'm gonna go to Publix, I'm gonna get the sandwich that I got yesterday. I'm trying to eat really clean. I've decided to start doing a bunch of crunches again and get my six pack abs back. When I was in college and I was cheerleading, I used to have like six pack abs and I, I should have that back, I want that. I had to do about 300 crunches a day every day to achieve that but I'm sure I can still do it. So that's what I'm trying to do. I've already done like 60 crunches today and I'm gonna go to Publix and get the veggie sub. I think that's a pretty clean sandwich, especially if you get it vegan like I do with no cheese, no meat, you know, things like that. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to eat clean, you know, and uh, get my body back. All right, so I got all my stuff at Publix. I am in a hell of my own making right now though because my feet are killing me. I'm gonna get home and I'm gonna cut these shoes. I don't care, I will cut them to make, my, to make them fit my feet. I'm gonna do it. Ugh, because this is terrible. All right, I got the shoes off. Hopefully before too much damage was done with my feet. I know I have to uh, work this afternoon and that requires me to be on my feet. And so, <laughs> gotta save my feet for that. But I think I figured out the problem. It turns out that these shoes have like a big leather, like a hard leather panel that covers over the heel of the foot. And if I could just remove that so it could just be canvas, soft canvas, you know, I think the shoe might stretch a lot more to accommodate me rather than my foot being forced into it. So yeah, I'm gonna go home and I'm just gonna try and remove this back leather panel off of the heel and just see what that does for me. guys I just got home and I just started working on my shoes and I want to show you a little bit of what I've done what I've done is I've taken this tool you can get this at any Walgreens or anything it's in the fingernail section it's usually used for like pushing back uh, cuticles 
and stuff off of your fingernails. You see this little leather panel right there? That's what's been rubbing, and I've been pretty successfully removing it. You see these threads that are connecting the leather right here? I think it's leather. You just take this, you're gonna wanna wedge those little threads between the tines there, and then, you see how I'm doing that there? And then you just push, and it cuts right through that thread and then you can just pull it apart from the shoe. And that is not going to be an easy task to see through all the way till the end, but I'm a patient person and I'm good with my hands, so I'm gonna make this work. So that's just an idea. If you have a pair of Converse's that are maybe a bit too small, maybe you got them thrifting like I did, you know, and you want them to be, that you want them to have a little more give, you know, you can try that. Don't do it to your new Converse's though. If you're gonna buy brand new Converse's, just make sure you buy some that are the right size. <laughs> All right guys, it is work time and man, my whole body is sore cause I've been just like, randomly working out kind of all afternoon like I'll be sitting at the computer watching YouTube or being on Facebook or something and then I'll be like how about let's do 30 crunches you know so like that's what I've been doing I've done 90 crunches today I'm trying to do a hundred crunches a day and it's much easier when like you just do them sporadically throughout the day you know not too hard at all, but now I'm going to go to work and use my legs and feet. Alright, headed into work. It is hot as hell out here today. I just feel the sun just beating down on me relentlessly. So crazy. So I hope the air conditioning is on in there because it's too damn hot out here. Alright guys, I'm at work. Time to get in the right frame of mind for waiting tables. You know, get myself pumped up for that. I realize I look like voodoo mama juju today, <laughs> but I kind of like it. So hopefully it'll go over well with my customers and make me more tips. Look at the beautiful, beautiful piece of art that Dalton and Robert created. Nate, Dalton did you do that too? That. Oh, look at the seahorse. That's so cool. Yeah. Don't all that. Beautiful. And fishes. What's on here? I love it. 